Okay, here's a tutorial in uh, cleaning a logo which was copied and pasted in Corel Draw. Now if you, if you see, I've just zoomed out here. When you zoom out to the YouTube logo here, it's, it's not pixelated, but because what I've done here, I'll just show you the thing here. I'll just delete this one first. Uh, here in YouTube, okay, here's the browser in YouTube. And what I did, I have this logo and I'll just right mouse click on it and then copy image and then I'll just move this over this side and in Corel you can just paste the logo which was copied from the from a web page now it looks fine when it's in the web page but when you zoom in it's really pixelated Okay, so what if you want to put this logo into a poster which is 3 feet by 4 feet that would be really really pixelated like that okay so what we're going to do now is going to recreate this logo okay so the first thing we have to do is to click on the object or the image and we're going to lock it so in order to lock the image or an object you go to arrange and then lock object. Now the advantage of locking an object is that, you know, if you accidentally, you know, select this object, it won't do it. It won't move because it's locked. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is to recreate this box here, or this button or whatever. So I click on my rectangular tool. Okay. And then I'll just put a box over it. I'll just size it up like that. I'll just zoom in here. Okay. Now in Corel Draw, there's a shortcut in order to make these ranges here. So what you have to do is you go to your shape tool or F10, your shape tool, click on shape tool, and you'll have these four handles in, in the corner. So what I have to we have to do is to drag this object, I mean this node, going to the right. And if you see, all of the corners now are rounded okay to check whether it's a good shape let's put a fill on it okay looks good now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this red box that we just made up okay so that we know what we're doing is right so I click on that one and then what I'm gonna do I'm going to remove the outline no outline okay because if you notice the this one has no outline has no black outline okay the next thing I have to do is to duplicate this one so I go to edit uh, duplicate so I have two objects now now this one that I just duplicate I'll make it white and I'll just shrink it down like that and I'll just move it over this side so what I'm going to do I'm just going to mimic this part of the logo so this is very fast I just click on this object and I'm going to use the interactive transparency tool okay so click this one and choose the interactive transparency tool and I go to the properties of the interactive tool uh, which is you know we're going to use linear click on linear here now we'll just do some adjustment that white square there we'll just move it this side not quite okay because it's only a piece of it so there there you go good now let's just go closer now it looks very close to the logo here now what we're gonna do we're going to type in YouTube click the text tool type in y-o-u hit enter t-u-b-e I'm gonna match the font of this matching close to that font so I would guess that would be impact okay. so now I'll size it up oh what I'm gonna do I'm gonna break it down first so I go to arrange break artistic text so I have two 
our words here. So I'm going to bring this down in here. I'll just do some adjustment. Okay. There you go. And I'm also going to bring this one. I won't make it white first. I'm just going to make it black. Then after that, I'm going to make it white. And that one. Like that. that seems that seems good to me so now I'm gonna I can make this white now and move it up here okay and this one I'm just going to make it align to this part here just to make sure that it's aligned I'm just gonna put a guideline and a guideline here too looks fine so I'll just move that back or delete this guideline now broadcast yourself so I'm just going to type it there and then I'll just type in TM oops and I'll just shrink that down okay just zoom out here just going to move this over here and I'm going to put it same size as this one okay okay you notice the TM is big right so what I'm going to do I'm going to make that as a subscript oh sorry superscript I click on the shape tool and I choose these two nodes here so I'm zoom in here let's go back here shape to it's just TM and go to superscript and that's it I've got a very <coughs> high resolution logo of YouTube now even I zoom in really sharp not like this guy here I mean the fonts doesn't match but you get the the principle of making a clean logo and then I can just click on arrange unlock object and I'll just delete this object here and hit F4 to zoom out to zoom in and there you go it's a very clean logo of YouTube